Today we're going to create a team change GUI like this one where you can uh, open it up and select which team you want to switch to uh, just like in Jailbreak and other games. So let's get straight into it. So firstly let's make the GUI. I'm going to insert a screen GUI uh, into start GUI and I'm going to call it uh, team change and then inside of that I'm going to insert a frame. Okay. Now this frame I'm going to set the size to um, 0 uh, sorry, 0 0.30, um, 0 0.1750, and that just scales it on the X and Y axis, uh, and then I'm going to position it uh, in the middle of the screen, so we're going to set the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so that, that goes into the middle, and then we can position the anchor point um, halfway uh, down the screen by setting the position to 0 0.5, 0, uh, 0 0.5, 0. Now that will put it in the middle of the screen, and now we can insert our buttons. So I'm going to I'm going to insert one uh, text button for now. This is going to be the team which we can choose. If you want uh, more than two teams, then just keep adding these buttons. But let's do the first one. Um, the first one is going to be for criminals. So I'm just going to set it to uh, criminals like that. And uh, let's just go and set the size of this uh, this button. So I'm going to set it to do 0.4 for the uh, x-axis comma zero and then 0.9 comma zero because we want it to take up the entirety or pretty much nearly all of the y-axis okay and then we can leave a little bit of white space for border so uh, in the position i'm not going to set an anchor point because it's inside of that frame locked into it i'm instead going to set the position to 0.03 so it's just away from from the side comma zero and then 0.05 zero okay that'll put it um with with a nice bit of white space around it and i'm going to set the border size pixel to two and um, let's make the background uh yellow for criminals and uh, let's just uh, make text scale checked we can change the font as well if you'd like and i'm going to call the text uh, criminals okay um so we're going to do the exact same thing just copy this and paste it uh, and this is going to be the second team for the police so we'll change the name to police here and we'll change the position um, to 0.57 comma zero and then uh, comma 0.05 comma zero and that will put it um, same place on the y-axis but just moving it along the x-axis okay uh, so now if we we can go ahead and set the background color three to a police color and we can change the text to say police Okay, so now we can start uh, scripting it. So let's insert a local script into here. Local script. And inside of this local script, we're just going to um, code it so when you click each button, your team gets changed, okay? So first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to create a remote event, okay? So that we can um, tell the server that we want the player's team to be changed, okay? So in replicated storage, just add a remote event. And I'm gonna call this event uh, change team. All right, so we're going to say um, this is a, a team change script. Now, firstly, we need to add our teams. Okay, so to add the teams into the game, we're going to go back to the game and click on uh, model, go to service, and make sure that the team service has been added. Then you can insert a team into this service. So add one for police and add one for criminals. But uh, what we've got to do is for each team, we've got to assign it a team color so um, the criminals are going to have a, a team color of cyan uh, sorry of uh, orange bright orange and the police are going to have cyan and so when you want to assign a team to a player you change a property in in their uh, in their player called the team color uh, if we go into the player service here click on my player and scroll down you can see team color if i was to change that to orange I'd go into the criminals team so we're actually just changing their team color um, so now that we've got them added select both of them and set auto assignable to false so they can't be given a team straight away all right um, so let's just make a variable for our remote event so local remote event equals game uh, dot replicated storage and we can say uh, change team all right because that's our remote event um you then are going to say local menu button we're going to assign it to the menu button soon when we add that uh, we're also going to make a variable for the frame which houses our button so we can say script dot parent colon wait for child frame and then we're just going to get our team colors here so team colors and so if you are in the police 
So the police colour is going to be cyan. And the criminal's colour is going to be bright orange. Alright, because they are the two colours which we defined over here. Um, so just make sure you've got some variables for those. And then we're just going to do an event. So when one of the buttons has been clicked, we change the team. So frame dot uh, criminals. Okay, because the criminals uh, button here is inside of the frame. And then we can say dot mouse button one click colon connect uh, open bracket function. And this function is going to fire off the remote event. So we can say remote event colon fire server. And then we're going to say brick color dot new because um, team colors are brick colors. Um, a brick color is basically a, a color from this palette, so not an RGB color made up of three values, which we can choose. So this is a brick color, and so we say brick color dot new, and then we're going to say um, criminals color, okay? Because uh, let's see, criminals color, because that is the color we defined up here. And so when the criminals button gets clicked, we fire the remote event. Now we fire the remote event because you can't change a player's team from the client, um, because that would be quite dangerous. So we can't do that. And then if we go back to um, back to the script here and just copy this event and paste it, but we change criminals to police, and then down here in the remote event uh, section, we're just going to change criminals color to police color. All right, police color, and uh, that's all that we need to do. Now we need to go over to the server script and code it. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to create a server script in server script service, and this is going to be used to handle the remote event. Okay, because basically local scripts, they can't make changes um, to do with things such as teams. So we have to fire an event, and then that event gets picked up on the server, and the server is able to change it. All right, um, you don't need to know too much about that, but we're going to do the team changing in here in the server script. So all that we need to say is game.replicated storage dot change team dot on server event so when that event's been fired we can connect it to a function and uh, in that function uh, we've got some arguments which is basically some data we've passed over from the local script and that's going to be the player that uh, fired this remote event or, or wants their team to be changed and the team color all right because we were saying team color here and that's the second uh, bit of data that we're passing over we just don't say what player is being sent because it automatically gets sent. So we're sending the color here and uh, we're picking that up as, as the team color. So all we need to say is player dot team color equals uh, team color and then we can say player colon load character and that's going to respawn them so that they get placed onto um, the spawn for that team. Okay. Now, I've just realized what you also need to do. We need to have a team which is auto assigned to the player um, when they join because they're going to be choosing. So if we just go back here to the team section and we add a new team and we set that to, so that it is auto assignable and we just change the name to be something like choosing. This will be given to the players when they join, but we're going to keep police and criminals set uh, to so that unassignable is unchecked so that they immediately immediately get placed into this team and if we go ahead and uh, run this game it should work for us so I get placed into the choosing team and if I click on criminals it puts me in the criminal team and police puts me on the police side so the last thing that we need to do is we need to add a menu button okay so I'm gonna add a text button to this GUI and I'm just going to set the anchor point to 0, 0, 0.5 so that it's uh, it scales perfectly on the y-axis and we're going to set the position to um, 0 and then comma 10. So 10 pixels offset from the side so that it's not touching the corner of the screen. Um, comma 0.5 comma 0. Okay. And that's just going to put it in the middle of the screen on the y-axis. And if we go ahead and set text scale to true. And uh, we just um, give it a nicer font. And just change the text to say change team. Then uh, there's our button. And if we just change the name of this to be called menu button, then we can go back into our local script. And now we can use this variable we declared and we can set it to script dot parent colon wait for child. And we can say menu button. OK. And then down here, all we need to say is menu button dot mouse button one click colon connect function. 
And in this function, we're just gonna set the frames visibility property to the opposite of what it currently is. So we can do that by saying frame.visible equals not frame dot visible so now if you go and click on the frame and make sure visible is unchecked and we go ahead and play then you can see we get put into the choosing team again but if we click on change team it appears we can become a criminal and there we go it goes off our screen again so uh, that was how you uh, make a team change gui if you like the video please give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and uh, thanks a lot for 100,000 subscribers really do appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video